Hello everyone, Nick from Struesoft here, back with yet again another tip of the week. This week we're going to be looking at how to set the auto-refreshing for your cast planning in Impact Project Manager and Impact Resource Manager, uh, both for calendar and detailed view. So this is a simple thing to set if you know how. And after this tip here, of course, I promise you, you'll know how to set it up. So as I usually say, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So here we have the Impact Project Manager. We have the calendar and the details. You can see we don't have much planned for today. Go to today's date, the 22nd of April. Let me just do some quick planning here. Get some elements on. And now to symbolize two different people sitting and planning or more than that, you know, where you will need to usually need to refresh. I have both the project manager open and the resource manager open. So now we can see in the project manager, everything is filled out with planning and so on, both in the calendar for the days and the casting beds, as well as the detail view, if we go ahead in days and so on. If I go to the resource manager, normally here, when you start at the next time, or when you hit refresh, everything's gonna be refreshed. If you wanted to do it automatically though, you can go in here in the settings, and set the auto refresh interval. You can set this between 100 and 999, depending on how often you want it to auto refresh. We'll set this one to 100. Now it automatically refreshes immediately, of course, here. We go to our detail view. We can do the same here as well with the auto refresh. And basically now you don't have to think so much about clicking this button here. If we go to today's date again, and you can see we have everything. If we go to our calendar, we have everything. And then when your colleagues plan and so on and so forth, you will never have to think if you're missing anything they're planning. You don't have to click refresh anymore. You do have to set the frequency of the auto refresh because we're not going to do it, you know, every millisecond if you know what I mean, then it's just going to be refreshing all the time. But you can set it like this uh, and to be as little as possible or as high as possible for the 999. So, and uh, then all that's left to do is just figure out the golden number for you guys here, of course. But that's basically it. So as I mentioned, super simple, super easy to set up. Set it and forget it, as you can say. But that's it for this tip of the week and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.